All right, so today I'm gonna to be showing you uh, this really cool uh, sandwich routine. So let's say we take these two kings, for example, and what you wanna do is let's say we set them off to the side here, and you put the kings off to the side, and then you can mix up the deck, and then you guys could pick any card from the middle. In this case, let's say you pick this card. So it's a random card, uh, it's your choice. Let's say we have the two of clubs here. What we can do is mix the two of clubs into the middle of the deck as well. So we have your selected card somewhere in the middle, the king's off to the side. And then if you were here, what I'd let you do is cut the cards anywhere you like. So let's say you would cut them right here. It's a completely fair uh, choice. You take that, put the kings directly where you cut with a single snap. You can see, guys, that the cards now, the kings have sandwiched one card, and this card is going to be your card, the two of clubs. So... This is a trick, and if you want to learn how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's how you guys are going to be able to do the trick. So the first thing what you want to do is you can take two, uh, or like a pair, maybe like kings or something, something that kind of stands out, and you can sandwich cards in between. So let's say we have uh, the two kings. So essentially, to start it off, what you do is you tell spectators, all right, you know, you have these two kings, and what you're doing is as you're showing them the two kings, you're getting a pinky break underneath the top card like this and the moment you slide off one king you say I'm going to use the two kings here and then you pick it up from the break once you have a three card uh, break here and you have that random card behind the two kings you slide off so it's in middle grip you slide off the first king lay that down on the deck and you have these two cards and you can hold them like this just make sure not to flash the card below it and you're showing them the cards just like this and then when you go to square it up you say I'm going to leave the three kings off to the side here, but in reality, you've now dropped these two cards, and now you're holding on to just one king, and you say I'm going to leave the two kings off to the side here. So at this point, the spectator believes that there are two kings here, and in order so this way they're not looking at the single card the whole time, you can place a box on top and say, look, I can't touch it. And the whole reason you do that is just because like, if the spectator is looking at this card multiple times, they're going to notice that it's not two cards thick. So if you leave a box on it, they're not going to be able to look at it the whole time. So from here, you have the two cards uh, on top. So you have the face-up king and the random card on top. And all I did in the performance was I double undercut these two cards to the bottom. So you can just riffle down the side or the bottom and then just get two cards. And from here, you have a two-card thumb break. And you use your pinky of your other hand to double undercut these cards to the bottom. And now you have moved the face up king all the way to the bottom of the deck and at this point you can have the spectator freely choose a card from the middle just make sure not to spread all the way down to the face up king but you can have them choose any card it doesn't matter and you can go ahead and tell them that it's okay if you see the card and from this point it's kind of easy because all you have to do is say look I'm gonna go ahead and lose your card in the middle and all I did when I just put the card on top of the deck was you show the card to the spectator you put it face down you catch a pinky break by pushing over the top card with your thumb, pulling back, getting the pinky break, and you're doing the same exact move, so you're doing a double undercut. So now you have a thumb break, the cards are like this, you move half the cards below with your pinky, move that to the top, and then cut that again. So this is what you're left with. Um, you have the king at the bottom now, and you've just moved the spectator's card directly below the king. So what happens is, is when you tell the spectator to cut the cards, they're cutting the cards wherever they want. So you put the top half of the deck down, you're holding the bottom half with the spectator selection here and the face up king here. And remember, you only have one king here. So you say, look, I'm gonna go ahead and take the two kings, put them exactly where you cut to, and you kind of quickly come over with the, with the one king, put it on top, you can square it up so this way they cannot see that it's just one card and from here you're set up because you already have the face up king and the spectator's choice you just drop the deck on here snap your fingers and then you can spread the deck to show them that right here in the middle where you where you cut at you actually have the spectator's card so this is the trick guys hope you guys like it and as always thanks for watching